All new tonight, a warning about the celebrity scandal and how scammers are trying to use it against you. The Better Business Bureau saying you can expect to see it popping up on your Facebook feed and other social media. Our Edward Lawrence is taking action for you with what you need to know tonight. Edward? Those links could be popping up in your Twitter feed, or it could be scam emails claiming to direct you to the latest nude celebrity photos. The Better Business Bureau says those links might be a scam. Internet scammers might be trying to piggyback off the buzz around a hacker named Blunt Mastermind. He claims to have hacked in and stolen hundreds of pictures, private and some racy photos of the biggest stars, including Jennifer Lawrence and Kate Upton. Now the Better Business Bureau warns scammers might try to create fake links, luring people in with similar headlines and photos. Only those links will be aimed at stealing your identity. They try and get you to click on the link show you some kind of website that looks like it's a real website where they're then asking you for some kind of personal information. Taylor Wallace is an app developer and knows all about these scams. He says criminals have become very good at making fake websites look real. As you can really tell with just the, the website itself, um, if it looks really funky, you know, it's, it's LinkedIn but it's spelled wrong or it's Facebook and there's a letter off. Wallace says all a scammer needs is a small amount of information, like your name. If you have other publicly available information on Facebook or, or wherever, they can often use that to deduce the answers to some of these security questions that you have. That's exactly how Apple says the hackers stole the celebrity photos. What's your mother's maiden name? What's the name of your first pet? When you're talking about a celebrity, you could probably just get all this information from their Wikipedia page. Experts say don't take the bait. They say that if you must see that story, go to legitimate news organizations like ABC News or ABCActionNews.com to see that story. Reporting live in the newsroom, Edward Lawrence, ABC Action News.